Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, the Azimio Umoja leader Raila Molo Dinga had called for public participation rally on the move by William Samuel Ruto to remove the four IBS commissioners from office and it also raised out other matters concerning the high cost of living, GMO, among other things. But Ruto responded to Raila Molo Dinga so harshly and arrogantly. In fact, he asked uh, to know when they are going to start their mandamano. Now he's changing from public rally to mandamano so that he can give them police officers. And after that, of course, uh, the Jubilee Party, Jubilee Party Secretary General, Jeremiah Kioni, was on an interview at Spice FM. And uh, Jeremiah Kioni started, tried to respond to William Samoy Ruto. According to him, Ruto was so much arrogant. In response to Raila Molo Odinga, again, he made it clear that in case Raila Odinga is calling for a public participation uh, rallies, Jubilee is willing to join them as long as it meant to change life or put William Samuel Ruto on checkmate. Let me quote him. If the rally at Kamkunji is a rally that we need to attend as members of Azimio, we will attend, we will get the communication on the detail of the meeting from our party leader, Raila Odinga. Lali at Kamkuji, and we will get the details of it. If it's a lali that we need to attend as members of the opposition, we will attend. Um, I'm sure we will get a communication from uh, our party leader, and our party leader is uh, uh, Raira Moro Odinga. He is the party leader of Azimio. Um, I had reached out to him last week. Um, but I and I'm sure after this I will reach out to him so that we we get into the details of uh, when is the rally meeting. Mm -hmm. Yes, demonstrations um, against the administration. Demonstration again is I'm sure it is uh, some of the things that we need to uh, discuss um, and uh, get to understand uh, how we move on with this process. You can actually see now we are going to. You promise this, what the deliveries. Mm. How have you delivered? Mm. And those lallies will be... Will... Now, I was almost bringing Jeremiah Kioni discussion on this pipeline, but later when I saw the press briefing, I decided to give it a break. In the press briefing, I also saw the Jubilee Party chairman, David Murade, also issuing issuing a strong statement to William Samuel Ruto. Because according to David Murade, he is saying that this William Ruto's government is showing the trace of returning the country back to the era of dictatorship. And they will not watch silently allowing William Samuel Ruto to take, a, to take the country back into those Moy era. They are determined to move with Raila Mono Dinga in every step to make sure that we will never go back to those days. Now, David Murade has been silent for so long. The last time I heard of Jubilee Party leadership, it was when they were trying to complain on how they felt that ODM party betrayed them. In fact, the truth of the matter is that they were trying to blackmail Raila Molo Dinga after Raila Odinga in his own wisdom graciously handed over one of the slot for ODM party for Jubilee to field a candidate for Yala legislation. There was those talks of Jubilee party trying to work with the government to deliver to the people of Mount Kenya region because most of the member of parliament elected on the Jubilee Party are from Mount Kenya region. That is the direction they were heading to. But seemingly, the party is taking a U-turn. They are going back to Raila Molo Dinga and Azimio Umoja coalition. The question is, why a U-turn? 
That is what we want to try and analyze here. But before we go deep into that, just a quick request for those who are watching and you want to subscribe, please consider subscribing. Turn on subscribers, thank you so much. And to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you and back to our discussion. Now, this is the truth of the matter. The way the Jubilee Party was going, back to work with William Samuel Ruto, there was a kind of perception they were trying to create here. And this perception was not good for Jubilee Party. Number one, they were portraying a picture of a party that is unthankful to Raila Amolo Dinga. After working together, even Raila Odinga giving some of the privileges in ODM party to them, they still did not appreciate that. Instead, they blackmailed, as I said. Beside this, you would view Jubilee Party as a betrayer in Azmio, Raila Molo Dinga, after losing the election. They quickly moved and joined William Ruto. That means they did not even believe in the ideology that Raila Molo Dinga had if they were going to go into that direction. Again, anyone could easily view that move as what Babu Owino was referring to as long con. Because they have, there are some individuals who believe that President Uru Kenyatta to some extent was playing Raila Molo Dinga in the interest of making William Ruto the president. So if Jubilee was going to move and join William Ruto in that quick move, many people would conclude and say that Bob Owino and those other people who are saying so were right. Because of this, I think Uhuru Kenyatta in his own wisdom has advised his party to stick with Raila Molo Dinga as of now. And maybe wait until later. It is too much early to move. This is a reason why I believe that Jubilee Party is making a U-turn to work with Raila Odinga. Number two. Judea Party or Kenya Kwanda government has been making mistakes. A lot of problems, blunders and accidents have already happened in this government. The first accident came when they removed the food subsidy. People were dying of hunger in this country. The second accident came when they decided to sell fertilizer that was they were given free from Russia. Kitu Yabure, they came here, they sold it at a higher price compared to what Uru had offered earlier in the name of subsidy. The other danger is the issue of GMO in this country. And other issues is failure to deliver the promises Ruto had given to Kenya in the first 100 days. All these things is already making William Ruto unpopular in this country. People have started viewing William Ruto as a man of lip service. You cannot trust his word. Because of this, anyone who will associate with William Ruto will not be spared, he will not be forgiven, he will be seen as part of the enemy of the poor people in this country. So it is an unpopular thing to join William Ruto as of now in Kenya Kwanza government. Because of all those mistakes, Jubilee as a party is not ready to die as of now. And because of that, they have decided to distance themselves from the mistakes in Kenya Kwanza government by sticking with Raila Mondo Dinga to articulate on the mistakes that Jubilee, sorry, uh, William Ruto is doing in his government. They have decided that they will be in the opposition side and uh, focus on exposing the mistakes. That is the third reason why Jubilee Party is making a U-turn. Number four, Gashagwa has been severely attacking Raila Mono Dinga together with the immediate retired president Uhuru Kenyatta. This has not been going well with Uhuru Kenyatta's family and Uhuru as an individual. He's not happy the way Gashagwa has been attacking. 
Remember, he is still the Jubilee Party leader. Gachagua has no party. He is depending and hanging on the court of William Samuel Ruto's Jubilee UDA party. So the president, Uhuru Kenyatta, in his own wisdom, feel that if he go in that direction to support William Ruto, then it will be seen as if he is begging regarding Gachagua by joining that side. He will be working under Gandhi Gashagwa. Because Gashagwa is the second powerful individual in this government and even in the UDA party. Because of this, Uhuru Kenyatta is not comfortable to hand over his party to Gashagwa or William Ruto's government. Lastly, I think, in my view also, that maybe the move by Jubilee Party to work with Raila Molodinga is also another push to push William Ruto in a corner to reach a stage where he can reach out to Uhuru Kenyatta as an individual and negotiate with him on how they can work together in the near future. And, uh, you know, by piling this pressure, going with Raila Molodinga into those public rallies, Ruto as an individual can reach out to Uhuru Kenyatta then they can negotiate. So who might also be using this to negotiate with the William Ruto. And as I wind, it is also very good for Jubilee Party to stand on the right side and be counted. In that way, the people of Mount Kenya region can decide to reward them in 2027. So because of this, politics also has interest. And that's why they are with Raila Monodinka.